today I'll be showing you how to downgrade your iPhone 5S to iOS 10.3.3. You're going to need a Mac for this as the program only runs on Macs. And if you're trying to use Windows, it will not work on a virtual machine. You're going to actually need a Mac for this process. This is a very simple tutorial. Just follow along and you should be good to go. What you're going to need is your iPhone 5S. And I would suggest restoring it, erasing it completely before um, doing this process in order to mitigate any errors that may arise. Um, the program is going to erase your device anyway, but um, it's better to just erase it first so that the program doesn't run into any errors while erasing it itself. So what you're going to want to do is go into your browser Go to the website, which will be in the description below. All the links will be in the description. And you're going to be brought to this page right here. So now the latest version is version 2.2. What you're going to want to do is scroll down until you see assets. And under assets, you're going to want to click on the .dmg file. This will download that file. And then what you're going to want to do is open that up so I will show you that it's gonna open up the .dmg file it's going to verify it and then you just all you're gonna want to do is just hold and drag into your applications folder so I already have this down on my dock so I'm not gonna do this again and then what you're gonna want to do is go to this second website and you're going to want to download the .ipsw file so once you get to this website, just click on identify my device and then input your model number. So you should see this in your settings app on your iPhone and then go to general and then about. And then you should see your model number. If if for some reason it's not there under model, just tap on the model tab and then you should see it. Sometimes it's also on the back of the phone, uh, depending on which type of iPhone you have. Um, but mine is A1533. So A1533. I would just type that in, click identify, and then it'll bring it'll bring you to the page where all the download files are. So what you're gonna want to do is scroll down until you see 10.3.3. Click on that. And then you want to just click on the download button. So that should download. Don't worry about this saying that it's not signed. The program will sign it for us. Now, this only works with 10.3.3 and not any of the other iOS versions. I've already tried this, but uh, somehow the program that we're going to use leak down here is, uh, is signing it somehow. Uh, but without further ado, you're just going to want to go ahead and open up the leak down application. And what you're going to want to do now is plug in your device. So I'll plug that in. And wait for that to occur. And then what you want to do is that if iTunes opens, you just want to keep closing that. You're first going to need to trust the um, device. So trust it and then close iTunes. And then... Uh, what you're going to want to do is click on need help entering DFU mode, click on that, and then follow this process. And I'm not going to really do this because this is self-explanatory, but um, this you're just going to want to go through this, and then you will see that uh, this prompt will be changed to whatever your iPhone is, so your iPhone 5S, and all your, your information is going to be put on there, uh, such as serial numbers and all that, but it's not a big deal because leak down keeps it all private anyway and then it'll get the stuff ready and what you're gonna want to do afterwards is that you're gonna see this box saying choose IPSW once you click on that you're gonna choose this IPSW that we just downloaded and then it'll ask you for some SHSH blobs or whatever that if you, if you want to save it just click skip you're not gonna need those anyway just click skip your device will reboot a um, couple times. I've already done this process, so I'm not going to do it again. But I just want to show you uh, what's going to happen. Tell you what's going to happen, rather. Uh, so iTunes is going to keep on opening. You want to close that out. Don't worry about it. 
and then Leap Down is going to basically say that, okay, your device is ready. All you're going to need to do is click on the downgrade button and then just wait. Mine took about 10 minutes to complete. It might take more uh, depending on your internet speed and your processor of your Mac. Uh, once, I, once you click downgrade, your screen on your phone might change colors. That's normal. Um, after about 10 minutes, it'll reboot to your home screen and you will be on iOS 10.3.3. Now, that is pretty much it for this tutorial. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, just leave them in the comments section below. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you all next time.